Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand random access or contention method. In our previous class, we had an introduction to shared medium. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here because there, there we have discussed about the introduction to medium access control, sublayer protocols. So, uh, sublayer has been discussed, introduction to medium access control, sublayer has been discussed, and every video in our channel is going to be a part of enter course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll try to understand random access or contention method in our previous class we had this kind of visualization where the systems where the computers are going to access a shared medium this is a this is the medium through which the these all these computers can transmit the data that is what we call it as a shared medium so how this how this shared how these computers are going to access the shared medium and what are the problems that we are going to get uh, those concepts we will try to understand in this class so here here uh, in the shared medium no system so uh, each system is independent and uh, there is no so this uh, there is no rule that a particular system is superior to other other system so this particular system has to send first and uh, then it has to send so there are no such kind of rules every system is independent to itself in the sense in the sense if there is a uh, data uh, to be transmitted by this system it can randomly access the medium so that is what we call it as random access and in order to access the shared medium they are going to contend with each other so there are different types of contention methods so for the random access to happen so the contention among the systems the contention among the systems has to be managed so what uh, i literally mean to say is for example for example if if this system has to transmit the data what it will do is it will randomly transmit the data into the shared medium for example if the if at that particular period of time at the same point of time if this system is also having some data to transmit it will also directly transmit the data onto this medium so that is what we call it as a random access or it is also called as these systems are contending with each other to access this medium to access this medium so that is what we call it as random access so what are the problems that we have with this kind of random access is there will be a collision for example if both these systems are trying to access the medium at the same point of time at the same point of time the data that is being transmitted within the shared medium will get collided in the sense they will get destroyed or they will get uh, they will get changed the data within that uh, frames will get changed so that is what we collision that is what we call it as collision so immediately when both the systems are trying to access the medium at the same point of time the both the data both the data that is being transmitted will be destroyed that is what we call it as a collision so how those challenges are faced so how that random access will be uh, will be provided in an efficient way how that random access is provided for that to understand we have different types of protocols the the concept of random access has been started with aloha which has been divided into two sub parts which is uh, two different types it is pure aloha and the other one is slotted aloha and uh, after that we are having different kinds of techniques like csms cd and csms ca csma stands for carrier sense multiple axis cd stands for collision detection the next kind of uh, uh, protocol for random access is carrier sense multiple axis ca stands for collision avoidance so these are the different types of protocols that we have for the random access of the shared medium in the next coming classes we will try to understand each and every uh, every protocol in a detailed way so this this is these are the protocols which are going to provide which are going to provide uh, the efficient shared medium
okay so the, the we will try to understand about these protocols in our later videos hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching